One of the keys for Photoshop is photo correcting. And oftentimes you have to match the image that you are placing in Photoshop with the lighting or the mood of the background image. As you can see in this example that I've created in Photoshop. Well, the same thing happens to go with your self-portrait. So here's my picture. Notice that it's not a very good picture, and I'm just using a poor quality picture just to show you what you'll need to do and give it maximum effect is you'll need to use your adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are ways to affect the color, brightness, contrast of an image without affecting the original image. And this is what we call non-destructive editing. So let's take a look. I'm going to delete the ones that I have here. Let's just delete that. Okay. So in yours, most of you will need to do a gradient mapping. You want to pick a color that matches a color in your design. I'm going to reverse it. Notice the blue now is matching. Here I've applied it to all the layers below. I'm going to have this blue tinge. I could keep that. I know this was giving many people some problems. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the Alt key and you're going to click, not drag, between the layers that you want to connect. It's sort of a way of connecting. But I could also, using my Alt key, just apply it to the layer below. Now I want to apply the effect using the blending options and the amount of them. Then it's up to you to see if you would like to use any of the other adjustment layers. I'm going to increase that blue my privacy. And the last one I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my curves. Because of this image being so dark, I need to brighten it up with the whites. I'm going to move it over. And now I need to apply it just to the objects below. And you can always double click and come back and readjust them. And so now I have an image that if we look for the original doesn't match the background and now it does. So the last thing is, let's create a new layer. Let's go to our brush and add a little bit of some paint going across. This is a really nice trick. I can click on my layer mask that the person on the, on the image of yourself and I can hold the Alt key and drag it up. So now it's cropped, and I'm going to click on what I just painted, and I'm going to blend it in. I might even put it inside those colors there, reduce the opacity on it. So I just want to take and show you a final step that I've done after I painted my character. Here's just another step with the painting that you can do. You can always apply different filters. And I went in and applied a pixelated color halftone filter to the brush, as well as adding a, ha a render lens flare. So after you paint, Go ahead and see what kind of filters you can add to the painting that you did. There's lots of different filters. You can see the different effects that the filters will have. And see how creative you can be.